What's up everyone, it's Comic Blast Keenan here, your number one source for Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos, and today I have another great one for you guys. I want to talk about the role of Wraith, aka Yuri, in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Believe it or not, Yuri was actually one of my favorite characters from Marvel Spider-Man. While her role wasn't a massive one in the main story, I just love that Spider-Man had someone he could trust in the police department and their banter was pretty great from time to time. But she really did shine in the City That Never Sleeps DLC where she was a focal point in that story. And that is where we need to start in order to discuss what her role could look like in Marvel Spider-Man 2. In that DLC, we really started to see Yuri's turn to a scarier side. During the City That Never Sleeps DLC, we get a story of a feuding gang war involving the Magia and Hammerhead. Yuri, her officers, and Spider-Man are looking to put an end to this gang war that Hammerhead is at the center of. In the process of it all, we get one of the saddest deaths when Hammerhead kills Lieutenant Drake. You know, the guy who had the Spider-Man watch that his son gave him for his birthday. Spidey, check it out. Nice. That's not regulation, Lieutenant. Sorry, Captain. Birthday present from the kid. Man, that was tough. Here is where Yuri really starts to make a turn. She becomes fueled with rage towards Hammerhead, and this is where I believe she starts to realize that doing things by the book isn't going to stop Hammerhead. She starts to lose faith in the system, and she wants Hammerhead dead. And she almost gets what she wants. Spider-Man later gets an opportunity to stop Hammerhead. However, Yuri comes in and binds Spider-Man. She is coming for Hammerhead. She wants to kill him. Freeze! You're under arrest! So yeah, turning yourself into a crime against nature, maybe not such a good idea after all, huh? <laughs> Pal, you weren't listening when I said long term. Old school magia has got patience. Knows how to wait till just the right moment to- <laughs> Yuri! How do you feel now? <laughs> Just dandy. and it appears that she does, but we come to find out later that he does indeed survive that shot to the head because, well, his head has a metal plate in it. But in that scene, you can just sense that Spider-Man fears for her. While you don't see his facial expression, you just know that he is worried. She just tried to kill a man, which goes against the law and what Spider-Man believes in. So what is next for Yuri from here? Well, this is where we get into the origin story of Wraith. In the comics, Yuri becomes known as the anti-hero Wraith after she completely loses faith in the justice system and thinks that the only way you can really stop a criminal like Hammerhead is to kill them. Here is a quote from The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3 from Yuri as she is speaking to Spider-Man. The Yuri Watanabe you know, she wasn't real. That Yuri was a story I made up. A lie I told myself. The good granddaughter I thought I wanted to be. Do you know what a Wraith is, Spider-Man? It's a wisp, a trace, a ghost, the fading memory of someone who's gone. There's a reason I took the mask back so easily after giving it up. I didn't understand that fully until I killed a man last night. Yuri Watanabe would have been horrified by what I did, but you know how I felt? I felt free. If you don't know already, Yuri wanted to be a cop because of her grandfather. He was one when she was younger. She was always trying to be like him. 
I feel like this is the trajectory we are headed in with the character of Wraith. She is certainly making a turn and I can see her and Spider-Man clashing over ideologies. As far as her role in the game, I wish I could say that I think she'll be in the main story, but I don't think that she will. I feel like this story that we're getting in Marvel Spider-Man 2 is already going to have so many characters to focus on that it would be nearly impossible to fit in a side story with Wraith. I do think that there is a very strong chance that we pick up with Yuri slash Wraith's story in another DLC dedicated to her. but. I wouldn't rule out a little side mission that is available within the main story to kind of tease or hint at Wraith. What I could see happening is us having a DLC where criminals are being found dead all throughout New York City, and Spider-Man is trying to piece together some clues to find out who is behind these killings, until later we find out it is Yuri aka Wraith. This could lead to some epic fight between Spider-Man and Wraith. Of course, Spider-Man is going to do his job by trying to convince her to stop and that this is not her. There is a rumor slash leak out there that there will be a third playable character in this game. And that character is said to have some similarities to Wraith when it comes to abilities. So there's a small, very small chance that she could be a playable character. And if that's the case, I would love to see her and Spider-Man team up if they go on to take on a bigger threat in this DLC. But overall, I'm really excited to see where her story goes next. I'd love to know what predictions you have for her character in the sequel. But that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all of the Marvel Spider-Man 2 hype. I'd love to see if we can hit at least maybe 220 likes on this video. That would be awesome. But that's going to be it for me. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.